A wee chuckle's not men of resolve, men of initiative, men of intelligence. Well, one of us is. Don't be so hard on yourself, Paul. Barry Chuckle was born Barry David Elliott in Rotherham on Christmas Eve 1944. Three years later, brother Paul was born and they began a partnership and a friendship that would last for the next 61 years. But you know it's like with people like us, one thing can lead to another. And usually it does. Exactly. Life is gonna be a wee while we for my Barry was no stranger to showbiz. His father, James, was a stage performer known as Gene Patton, and his elder brothers, Jimmy and Brian, were well known in the clubs as the Patton Brothers. Open your mouth. Say 99. 99. 99. 99. One more. 100. Stop messing about. Come on. But it was Barry and Paul's partnership as the Chuckle Brothers that would win them millions of admirers over the coming years. Ah, da, 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 da. Chop nuts. Same to you. Having first performed together as the Harmon Brothers, the Chuckles found TV fame after a win on Opportunity Knox, followed by a successful appearance on New Faces in 1974. Many TV appearances came along before Barry and Paul finally landed their own children's BBC series in 1987. Now what are we going to do? There's no need to panic. I've got a plan. And there's no need to panic? Chucklevision would become one of the longest-running children's TV shows of all time, running for 22 years and winning the brothers' generations of fans old and new. Remember that funny incident outside the church when you threw the rice all over? <laughs> Everyone throws rice at weddings. And they don't throw curry as well, do they? As well as creating catchphrases that would become an unofficial part of the English language. Of course, silly me. Silly you. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Right. To me. To you then. To me. To you. The Chuckle Brothers have received admiration from many well-known stars. They even made it in the pop charts when rapper Tinchy Strider made a call to, to the boys. To me. To you then. To me. Yeah. To you. To me. Nice Rotherham. Hey, we're from Rotherham. One thing that remained close to the heart of Barry Chuckle as well as his surviving brother Paul, was the hometown of Rotherham. As you could hear when they made a return visit to the town with the BBC's One Show in 2017. We grew up here in Rotherham. We did, among the steel mills and the flour mills. The street is here, look at that. It's not changed a lot really, has it? I like to be a busy This busy is the place. Busy. Yes, our old stage. Yeah. Hey. Where we used to put the shows onto the kids. Yeah. And we used to do, uh, we're not all there. There's something missing. We're not all there. So the folks declare. They call me Luby, Luby, nothing, nothing but a great, great big booby. booby. Did we ever argue as kids? Of course we did. We must have done. Yeah, you always do, don't we? Probably because I was the cleverest. You were the what? Cleverest always have been, haven't you? No, you weren't. I was the cleverest. Yeah, we've been working together for over 50 years now. Yeah, it's meant the world to me. To you? Yeah, to me. To me as well. Speaking this week, Paul Chuckle announced his intention to carry on entertaining and making people laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Final instruction from his brother and best friend shortly before he passed away on Sunday, the 5th of August. Today, Rotherham says goodbye to one of its well-known pals. A friend to millions and a man who will always be remembered with a smile. Yeah, don't mind saying you did a good job there, buddy. Thanks a lot. And as the crowds at Rotherham United's New York Stadium chanted just last week, there's only one Barry Chuckle. Silly yo. Silly me. Fancy a cup of tea? Yes, please. Well, make me one while you're at it, will you? Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Fantastic, and Barry, we're missing you, Murray. Good night, Paul. You'll look back at this one day and laugh. <laughs>